Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and today I want to share with you some awesome revelations that have changed my life, that have taken me from a place of knowing the supernatural happens and happening once in a while, to a place where I know I can lay hands on the sick and they'll be healed, to a place of such great revelation knowledge that my whole life has been changed. In this last month, uh, I have set aside time so that I could be with God from sunup to sundown. I have had to overcome a physical problem and seeking peace in that area. And through my um, search for having peace in my physical body and in my mind, it's taken me on this journey. And I'm continuing on this journey, but I feel now is the time that God is allowing me to share with you some things that have changed me forever. And these are things that I want to build up to into a, um, a video, sort of like a workshop that you can watch, and also to put into a book. Um, so I'm going to share one of the things that has really helped me was listening to some things that Andrew Wal Walmick has said. And I would highly recommend you get his book or listen to uh, it on YouTube called Spirit, Soul, and Body. And that just revolutionary, revolutionized my life. And what I discovered is that I already know that once we're born again, we can't lose our salvation. That our salvation is sealed in the Holy Spirit. And we didn't get salvation by our behavior, by our obedience or disobedience, but through Jesus' obedience and through Jesus' blood. What he did for us, he was our substitute. Uh, so we don't lose our salvation because we're in Christ Jesus and we're sealed with the Holy Spirit. But this revelation goes even deeper than that. The revelation goes deeper than we are three parts, body, spirit, and soul. And when we get born again, our, first of all, our spirit died. Our spirit died. We were no longer connected to God in any way, shape, or form when Adam fell, when, when we fell. Then we became sin conscious instead of God conscious because in the garden, Adam and Eve were afraid because they were naked and they hid themselves from the presence of God because they were afraid that they would be punished. They were afraid, and fear is probably the number one problem in the body of Christ. And so for me, my search for peace, how to get peace, keep peace, walk in peace, give away peace, is like my ultimate goal because no matter what sickness or disease you have, even if you're dying, if you have peace, you can get a hold of the power of God and change that situation. And even if you're dying and you're going to die, you can have peace because you know God. So my ultimate goal and my search has been for peace, and not just for my peace that manifests physically in my body instead of fear or stress manifesting in my body, but having this peace and teaching this peace has, peace has been my my goal, my purpose and I just want to teach people how to walk in God's peace, God's presence and God's power that is so much on my heart and so the main thing that I realized that I came to the conclusion, it's hot out here by the way uh, the main thing that I came to the conclusion that really changed my mind is that when we are born again we are, our spirit is born again. And the Bible says that he who is joined to God is one spirit with God. And that we are sealed with the Holy Spirit when we are born again. And it also says that we are without spot, blemish, that we are unblameable and above reproach in God's sight. And the thing is, when we become born again, we are like, we are a new spirit. Our spirit is perfect. And everything that we need for life and godliness is inside of us, inside of our spirit. 
our spirit is inside of our body, contained in our body. When our spirit leaves our body, our body dies. So we carry within us our spirit, which, which is joined together with God's spirit. It's not two separate spirits in there, but we become one spirit, just like a husband and a wife become one flesh. And the marriage and the union of marriage is a shadow and a copy of being born again and being one spirit. So we are one spirit with the Holy Spirit. We are a perfect spirit. There is nothing wrong with us. Our spirit has everything we need for life and godliness. Our spirit has all resources, everything in it, because it's the Holy Spirit in us, one spirit. And we are the body of Christ. So I'm going to share with you scriptures in the, in the next coming days and weeks on that prove to you and show to you that we are now a perfect spirit who has a soul and lives in a body. And when you know that your spirit is perfect and blameless, you will be able to have peace. You will be able to walk in supernatural presence and power and supernatural joy. This is just such an awesome, 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 life-changing revelation that I want to share with you. But it has to go little by little. So, um, basically, just get into the Word and study the Word about... Um, you being one spirit with the Holy Spirit, being with that spot and blameless, that, that Jesus made your spirit perfect. Now we have to renew our mind because our spirit should be following. Our spirit is the boss. When Our spirit was the boss, and when we fell, our body became the boss. What we could see, hear, feel, taste, and smell became reality and truth for us. But now when we're born again, our reality and our truth is our spirit. When we take the Word of God, and I'm getting ahead of myself here, but we take the Word of God. Now we can't see our spirit. So the Word says that when we look at Jesus, we're looking in a mirror. And I could go on so many rabbit trails with this. But our spirit man, if you want to know what your spirit man is like, then you take the Bible like this. Let's find a... You take the Bible. See, it's all written up. Okay. You take the Bible and you hold it in front of you like this. Okay. This is my, let me hold it this way. This is my mirror. This tells me what my spirit is. This tells me how perfect and wonderful I am. This is my mirror. Just like you look, I'm looking at myself right now. Now, this is my left hand, but to you, to me, it looks like it's my right hand, but it's actually my left hand. Patrick, it's my left hand. So, when I'm looking in the mirror, I'm only seeing a reflection of who I am. I never really saw my face because... I can't take my eyeballs out and go like this and, and look at my face. Okay, so I've never really seen my face and either have you. You're only seeing a copy, a reflection of your face. Well, your spirit is going to see a reflection of who you are by looking at what the Word says you are and you are perfect. So that's just a teaser. That's just a little bit of information that I want to share with you and I want to share more. And I'm just kind of keeping myself hidden away for the rest of July and possibly into August just to get deep into the things of God. So my name is Robin Bremer and I'm not going to, I'm going to keep everything. Here comes the rain and the storms. I love storms and it's cooling off. So I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to upload it and uh, keep it simple. I'm not going to do no introduction, no outduction. Just check out my website, robinbremer.net. Talk to you later.